Ain't no beads. Ain't no floats. Ain't no moving floats, at least. They got masks. Ain't the type of mask you're thinking of. No Zulu ball. No spears. No Mardi Gras cups. None of that. Mardi Gras 2021 is absolutely nowhere to be found. If you're from New Orleans, your Mardi Gras colored Zion Williams jersey, you could keep it in your closet. Your Mighty Ducks jersey, keep it in your closet. Ladies, would y'all be wearing them little um, Mighty Gras colored little fluffy things on your ankles? Whatever that's called, keep it in your closet until next year. It's Mardi Gras, 2021. Has been officially canceled. Oh yeah, we talking about it. Stay tuned, Imperial's Only Podcast. No lines. You are now tapped in. Reject society. Radio. No lines. Whatsoever. Imperial zone. What's your doubt? Free the Imperial. The Imperial. This is my little reincarnation right here. This one I'm putting all my money behind right, this right, 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 right. What's down, what's down, what's down, y'all? This is Re, the Imperial. You could just call me Re, all my friends do. You hear me? But this episode of Imperial's Only Podcast, welcome. Nice to see y'all again. Shout out to everybody that consistently uh, tap in with us. Shout out to the set, Reject Society, Big Five Four Salute to Nine World America. You already know how we coming. So this episode is uh, near and dear to my heart because um, I don't even know if Mardi Gras has ever actually been canceled before. You know we don't do any research before we do these podcast episodes. We just pretty much, you know. <laughs> but nah, so Mardi Gras 2021 is officially canceled. I'm not sure if you're uh, aware of what's been going on, if you've been under a rock. But we in a whole panini. A Pythagorean theory. A panoramic. A peninsula. A Panera Bread. Nah, we really in a pandemic, though. Big C word. With the dash and the one nine in it. The, uh, uh, what is this? The plague that is not to be named um, has stopped New Orleans' plans to have Mardi Gras. The family reunion, the class reunion, the reunion of all reunions. Well, if you're from New Orleans, you see everybody that you went to high school with, p- people you went to elementary school with, people you went to college with, if you went to college, see your coworkers, see people from all over the world just having a good time, right? It's non-existent this year. It's not happening. It's totally closed down. If you're from New Orleans, stay your ass at home. If you've never been to New Orleans, take my word for it. It's a beautiful place, it really is. But now is not the time to visit. Nah, you're not gonna see nothing special. It's not for you right now. You're honestly not welcome. Really and truly. So, 
how is Mardi Gras actually canceled? What is being done? Are you really are you really telling me that people are not going outside and participating in in Fat Tuesday? Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Because if you haven't heard the news, Matt Tita built the wall. Big wall. Huge no, okay, I'm I'm slightly exaggerating. It's kind of like a wall. Okay, okay, it's really it's really a fence, right? It's really a fence. But really it's multiple fences. Fences everywhere. Fences under the bridge, here fence, there fence, everywhere fence, fence. You know what I mean? But we at Reject Society want to know how you feel about it. Are you on the fence about it? You see what I did though, right? Now, for those of you who keep wondering why we, why I keep calling um, the lovely Mayor Cantrell Mayor Titi is because native New Orleanians, or anybody from the South for that matter, use Titi as a term of endearment because to her, she is like a dear auntie to us. Auntie, whatever you want to call it, however you want to say it. Shouts out. Shout out to Mayor Titi. Mayor Cantrell, holding it down. Trying to keep us safe. Now, me, personally, I ain't tripping. I live in Atlanta right now anyway, but I went the last time I went to Mardi Gras, of course, was 2020. I had a blast. Had a phenomenal time. It was a couple of things happening down there last year. People was falling off of floats. And all type of wild things were happening. But overall, I had a magnificent time. I had a ball. I had a, I had a grand old time. 2020 Mardi Gras. She was crazy. She was, she was lit. So, 2020 was great, and not 2021. We can't even do it. There's so many, so many people in the city, you know, people of melanin, and those with underlying health conditions. It's just not safe. It's just not smart for y'all to be going out and just partying and drinking and all that stuff. So Matt T.D. said, fuck all that. Matt Cantrell said, you know what, we ain't, we ain't shutting down the alcohol, we shutting down, we shutting down the bars, we shutting down all that. And I ain't mad at her. I ain't mad at her whatsoever. Because the fact of the matter is, y'all need to be sitting y'all ass down, man. Just chill out. Fuck. Just have a seat, man. I ain't got to be, I understand, like, Y'all be saying, oh, we've been cooped up. We've been, we've been in here oh, this whole time. We need an outlet to get out and party and enjoy ourselves. Bullshit. Y'all niggas was out there. I've been, I, y'all niggas was be partying and y'all have been out since this pandemic, bro. Like, y'all can't make it seem like y'all niggas have not been going out. And now, it's my to gras, y'all won't go out. I don't believe that shit. Y'all niggas have been out. And then on top of that, it's like, my nigga, it's a pandemic, panorama, Pythagorean theory, really going on. But people's lives is at risk. And it could all just slow down and possibly even stop quicker, slow down the spread if you just stayed your stupid ass inside, boy. But no, that's too much like right. Too much like right. Y'all ain't want to do that. So like I said, me, I ain't tripping. I live in Atlanta. And I do miss Mardi Gras. Don't get it twisted. You know I'm hardly home, but I always repping. But these are safety precautions that us as responsible Americans must uphold. So, there's plenty of other ways we can celebrate Mardi Gras. Um, I'm pretty sure New Orleans people, uh, you uh, guys can still participate and uh, get your king cake. You can also send me a king cake if, uh, you know, if it moves you to do. You know what I'm saying? I like king cake. You know what I'm saying? If anybody listening to this podcast, send a nigga a, a king cake. You know what I'm saying? But um, 
there's so many things you can do. I've seen um, uh, the floats in the oak thing going on, where pretty much they just take Mardi Gras floats and they just they moved all the Mardi Gras floats and put them in City Park, and you can just drive around and and look at them. And the floats not moving, but uh, you could you could drive around your vehicle. Your vehicle moves, and then you could just drive around and look at all the, all the prestigious uh, floats that won't be rolling uh, this year. I've also been seeing these yard floats with all these uh, people in uh, higher tax brackets with uh, beautiful homes. They decorate their house to make it look like a Mardi Gras float. Really just taking uh, uh, decorations to the next level. So that's tight. If you got a really big ass house and you want to do that, make your house look like a Mardi Gras float, that shit might be tight. But other than that, ain't nothing else popping. Ain't nothing really popping. Stay inside. Play Twister or something. It's board games. It's TV. Watch a documentary on Mardi Gras. I just seen Neutral Grounds put together um, a fight little documentary about missing Mardi Gras that I encourage everybody to check out. If you can't, can't participate in the actual festivities, at least educate yourself, you know? Shout out to uh, Dr. Clips and the Neutral Grounds for doing that. That's, that's very beautiful. One time for the culture. Mardi Gras, 2021. Non-existent. I never thought I'd see the D. That's crazy. But if you're alive and you got your health, take that. And bring it the next year's Mardi Gras, and then we could turn up. Hopefully, twenty twenty two, we could we could have Mardi Gras. Hopefully, the world will be back open, and we could all frolic and catch beads and Mardi Gras. Cut. Now, last year, I don't get it twisted. I'm I'm having flashbacks of last year, but I was look, I was intercepting some beads and all type of stuff. They had these people. Coming from out of town, thought they would, I don't know if they thought I was from out of town, but they thought they was gonna, you know, catch some bees over me. Not, not happening. God ain't give me these long lanky arms for nothing. I was in that bitch snatching stuffed animals, yoink. You know what I'm saying? All type of uh, little toys and trinkets. I was just snatching them, just catching them. You know what I'm saying? They should have put me in the league. They really should have. But that's another story. But yeah, last last Mardi Gras was tight. Caught a lot of stuff. Brought it home for the people. It was tight. But this year we ain't catching nothing. Hopefully you don't catch nothing. And when I mean catching anything, I definitely mean coronavirus. So stay your ass inside. If you're from New Orleans, if you're not from New Orleans, stay not from New Orleans and don't come down here for Mardi Gras. Stay your ass wherever you at. Because ain't nothing going down. Ain't nothing prestigious about Mardi Gras right now. Go to uh, go to Puerto Rico or something. I hear people in, a lot of people in Puerto Rico right now. I heard niggas is fucking up Tulum. Y'all go check out Tulum. I got Tulum on my bucket list. But not right now. Just like you shouldn't have New Orleans not right now on your bucket list. Because there's a panini going on. Yeah. So y'all just hold it down. Spend time with the one you love, ones you love, and remember what the true meaning of Mardi Gras is. To be honest, I don't even know the true meaning of Mardi Gras. I guess it just I guess it just means to like celebrate, I don't know, fucking let the good times roll. I guess we can't let the good times roll, but yeah, whatever. Just do something. Just be productive. Read a book or something. I don't know. Just don't go to Mardi Gras. Just don't go out and keep spreading this shit. Because the more y'all keep doing that, the more we can't go outside. Y'all fucking it up for everybody. So y'all just stop going outside so we can just go outside. All right? Straight up. Matter of fact, you know what you could do? And these are Imperial approved projects. You might want to go check out the homie pass guy, he got a tape out that's cool, right? 
Definitely for sure go peep that out. The Fifth Child. Fire body at work. Got my sis Lolly on there. Um, Jay Arson on there. Um, Respect How I'm Coming Volume 1 is still available on no streaming platforms. You can still get it through me through Cash App. Highlight at me. Um, I got that on deck. It's a beautiful body at work. Also, my homie G4, my little bro, just dropped a new project. Really, he been going crazy back to back. Shout out G4. I'm going to get him on here eventually and let him and let him really uh talk to y'all and let you under and let you really understand the capacity of which this nigga is working because this nigga's going crazy he just dropped a, a ep with flight just that's so fire so fire balcony bars and he's really in his bag and after the, the nigga really just went back to back and dro- just dropped an, another tape Industry Crasher. That bitch out now, too. I ain't even listened to it yet, but once I tap in, I already know how he coming. That's my little brother. I already know how he coming. You know what I'm saying? So, you ain't got to go to Mardi Gras. And, and then, oh, hold up. One more. Then, Law. Shout out Law. Supreme Street. Um, over that title. He got a fire, um, fire Mardi Gras playlist um, that I have saved that y'all might want to check out. Just so y'all could, you know, be in a Mardi Gras spirit, but not necessarily go to Mardi Gras. I believe. Hold up. I'm actually looking through it right now. I'm trying to see if I can find it. It's on title. If you got title. Yeah, the title is actually called Mardi Gras. Yeah, the title is called Mardi Gras. So, yeah, check that out. It's a playlist. I'm pretty sure you can find a lot of uh, Mardi Gras playlists, I would assume. But, um, yeah, Mardi Gras 2021, it's not happening. So, let's just all make the best of it, shall we? If you enjoyed this episode of Imperials Only, please feel free to tap in with us everywhere else we at. You can catch me at readtheimperial.com and readtheimperial on Twitter and Instagram. Also, don't forget to follow the set at RejectSociety.us and Reject Society on Twitter and Instagram. Subscribe to Reject Society TV on YouTube and you all in the game. Once again, it's Reading Imperial Peace and I'll remind you to keep it imperial, stay safe, and help somebody elevate the day. No lines whatsoever. Reject Society. Radio. <laughs> Whatsoever. Imperial zone. Imperial zone. What's your doubt? Freedom, Imperial. Freedom.